Hey everyone, uh, so we had our testimony in chapel at uh, Lancaster Bible College today uh, where we spent some time praising God through song uh, and worshiping Him and singing and then what we did was we had mics set up at uh, the front of the chapel for people to get up and share their testimony about uh, how God's been working in their life um, over the past year, over the past uh, months, uh, what He's been teaching them. Uh, and I wasn't planning on necessarily saying anything until uh, just yesterday and really just last night um, where God laid it on my heart that uh, he wanted me to use something that he really blessed me with incredibly uh, for him. So uh, this is what I got up and shared and I, uh, God blessed me and opened the door for me to speak in chapel and um, I feel like he's, he's moving and he wants me to make this video uh, to share with you how he's working in my life and my prayer is that uh, he uses it to encourage and bless you. Um, so this is what happened. Uh, over the past uh, year or so, uh, God has really opened doors for me to help uh, be an assistant coach on a couple of different uh, basketball teams uh, with my dad, uh, both at Christian School of York and through uh, Keystone Line Basketball Academy. Uh, and that's been a real blessing and a real um, incredible opportunity uh, to mentor uh, these kids, these players in God as they try to uh, improve both at basketball and uh, as people uh, serving and following after God. Um, and what I've been doing is I've been keeping uh, statistics uh, for these teams uh, in order to help the kids, in order to coach them, uh, in order to help them uh, do their best and accomplish their best uh, for God. Uh, and what I had been doing is I had been taking these stats and uh, using Google Spreadsheets and putting uh, the stats in after each game uh, to kind of organize them. And this system worked, uh, but it was a little bit tedious. Uh, it took a lot of time, um, and it didn't always work out the best. Um, it was a lot of work, like putting the different equations in to try and kind of add up uh, the stats and uh, get everything organized. Um, but what happened last night is uh, I was actually on Google and I was doing a little bit of research and I was looking for uh, some software for my computer uh, that I could use that might be able to help me organize the stats uh, better, more efficiently. Um, and it was incredible because I really feel like it was God who led me to uh, this one website uh, that I was able to use and I was plugging the stats in and uh, the games in and it was it was working beautifully. It was doing pretty much everything I could have expected and even more. Um, and just really was kind of showing to me uh, the abundance of God's provision and his love for me uh, through something as simple as uh, keeping stats. Uh, and that kind of just blew me away. And you can even ask uh, my roommate, Stephen Marshall, uh, how excited I was last night. Um, I was a little bit, you know, crazy, passionate, thankful for God and for everything he was doing. Um, it was incredible to see how he gifted me and blessed me with his software that I wasn't expecting. Um, and it was incredible to see his provision. And it was just a reminder that um, God doesn't always give us what we think we need, but he gives us everything that we truly need in him. And he just showed me that with this statistics software. Um, and I, I connect this with over, over the past year at small groups at my church and um, in different church services, we've been talking about how God is a blank giving God, how he cares about uh, all our little needs and all the little things that we seek in him, uh, whether it's, you know, he's a cushion giving God, he's um, he's a movie ticket giving God. Anything that we ask in his name, if it is his will, he has the power and ability to uh, give it to us. And he loves uh, blessing his children with good gifts as a good father uh, does. Um, in this case, he just reminded me powerfully that he is um, a stat sheet keeping, giving God. Uh, and I was just blown away by, by his mercy because I, I don't deserve it. Uh, there's, there's no way that I could have earned his favor being good enough for him to be like, oh, well, Sean deserves this software. No, it's, it's all out of his mercy and his grace. And um, I would say I'm speechless at his provision, but... I'm obviously not because he's, again, he's given me the words to say uh, to give him thanks and praise for this. Um, I hope that through this, uh, through this event, through this short video, um, that, that, he'll that he can see his blessings in your life 
and that he'll receive all the praise and glory for this. Uh, and I want to finish by tying uh, this whole situation into Philippians 4, 6, and 7, which I have pulled up right here. Uh, and it says, Do not be anxious about anything, but in every situation, by prayer and petition, with thanksgiving, present your request to God. And the peace of God, which transcends all understanding, will guard your hearts and your minds in Christ Jesus. So go, go to God. Go to God in every situation with all your requests and petitions in Christ Jesus. And it doesn't mean that he's going to give you everything, uh, either as you expect it or in your timing, but he will give, re give you everything that he needs to equip you with according to his will, according to his, his perfect timing. And I just go back to, I didn't start keeping stats with this software, um, but he blessed me with it and allowed me to find it in his timing. And I couldn't be more uh, thankful. I mean, I could be more thankful, but I just, I'm incredibly grateful to God uh, for all he's, for all he's done, for all he's provided. Um, and I hope he can bless you, uh, through this, through this video, through his testimony, uh, because he is a faithful God. Um, and he's incredible. Uh, and I love him so much. And, um, if you have any questions about him, please feel free to reach out to me, send me a message. And I'd love to talk to you about him, uh, and about, uh, the work of Jesus Christ, his, uh, death, burial, and resurrection, um, and how he's alive and blessing us in incredible ways today. Uh, so God bless you. Uh, take care. Uh, and I pray that you uh, seek him and find him and have a great rest of the day.